My name is Ruben Austria with Farmers Insurance, Stitcher District 22. I am Brad the Brick Critchfield with the Sweatshop Gym. And we have a very special guest today. Very special guest. <laughs> very you may have uh, seen him at your local karaoke bar uh, or, <laughs> or perhaps on Facebook Live. Yourself. You're not foreign to Facebook Live. You, you do a great, great I've done it. Facebook he Live. He loves it. Yeah. I've done it a couple of times. And he's good at it. Congrats on the new uh, logo. I like it. Oh, thanks. Cool. Yeah, That's it came cool. out great. Um, I had one, and then I got with uh, Josh. Yeah. And uh, he did his magic, and you know, there was just it just you know. Actually, I had a couple people tell me, hey, you know, we could use this, use that. So I took the recommendations and got with Josh, and he very, spiced it up and very two you know, I like I it. I love it. So yeah. you, uh, how how long have you been in uh, Lakewood? Uh, my wife and I purchased a home here about seven, a little over seven years ago now. So, yeah, so it's living in Lakewood and working in Lakewood is, is nice. So uh, can you kind of give us the, uh, the list of the, the, the services you provide in the, in the Lakewood uh, area? Um, I provide a full service and pest control. Um, the, the big, uh, with the cold season and the rainy season, the big issue right now is we're getting a lot of rats going on. Um, but uh, ants, roaches, rodents rats I have a trapper's license so I can pass uh, you know trap nuisance pests such as raccoons and possums um, I'm also I have an additional license to be able to treat and trap for gophers um, that's that's kind of getting when spring comes up we're gonna see a lot of mounds popping up so, um, now, you know, so. Do, you, do you have a favorite rodent like like one that like you enjoy like, like it's a hunt like it's the I'm gonna get that one. a favorite rodent <laughs> I'm sure you have like not favorites right? like possums they can't be fun but like, there's got to be a fun one. Like a, like I could see like maybe if I was chasing a squirrel in the car, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't <laughs> really do anything with squirrels. Okay. okay. Um, those are kind of protected. Okay. But um, <laughs> I'll stop then. Um, you no, don't know I mean, what you're talking about. <laughs> this guy knows what he's talking about. Obviously. They're not. They're not protected, but they can be controlled. But I don't. They're generally, they're they're okay. not. Okay. But anyways, uh, rodents. My favorite rodents are the ones that I you know catch when I set a trap and I catch it overnight or within a few hours. Okay. Um, you know, that, that kind of helps. So, so you, me you mentioned the rats. Are rats are a big problem in Lakewood? Rats are, uh, I get a lot of calls for rats in Lakewood. Uh, once it starts heating up, they'll, they'll start dying off. But with that cold weather, they start wanting to work their way in and, and they, you know, get the people's attics. So if it's a, if it's a big problem in Lakewood, what are some, some of the signs that somebody might have a rat problem and they don't even know it? Well, the, the first thing that people tell me when, when they're talking to me is, hey, I, I hear like a scratching noise in my ceiling. And they seem to be in a certain area and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, that's one sign. Another sign is you can walk around the exterior of your home, especially if you have a stucco home. Um, mm -hmm. They'll scale right up the corners of that stucco wall and they'll leave what's called rub marks. It'll look like dirt or grease that they leave when, you know, because they're going up and down. They, they leave those signs and that's one of the things I look for. Um, and then uh, any vents that are open, you can kind of tell that they've been going in and out. Um, those are entry points and obviously you want to seal those up too, so that, that'll take care of that. Is it hard for you to eat out at restaurants? Like, um, I, yeah, like, cause I can oh, imagine, oh I knew all the signs, <laughs> I'd just be sitting there like, oh. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I've, salad. I've been in pest control 14 years, and, and the majority of the years I've been in pest control, it's been commercial pest control. Okay. So I've dealt with a lot of restaurants that have been shut down from the, not, not in Lakewood. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course not. Yeah. No. I'm going to make sure you go um, to the nice ones. But oh, uh, so. restaurants get shut down by the health department, and uh, I've seen a lot of issues where there's a lot of roaches, and... You know, sometimes, you know, it gets to me, but, you know, I kind of look around, but generally you kind of forget about it once you've yeah. been doing it for so long. You're just like, it is what it is. So. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me ask you a question, Sean, because obviously you had mentioned that you're, you've been doing this for 14 years. Up until not too long ago, you kind of went out on your own, mm -hmm. started doing it. Um, right. You know, obviously now you're representing your own small business. You know, take us through kind of like the journey as to why you're doing it and, you know, the benefits uh, of where you're at now and as opposed to. And that's a huge step, stepping out on you. Like from a big company umbrella, yeah. now, it's, now it's Sean Day. Now it's, yeah. now it's done right. Yeah. Um, I was with a major, probably the largest pest control company in, in the world um, for 13 years. You don't um, have to name them. It's cool. No yeah, question. No. Yeah, we don't, um, we don't want to give them that play. But, um, but uh, about eight months ago, um, I journeyed off um, and started my own. And uh, it was just being able to, you know, when you're working for a corporate organization, it, it, it's more repetitious and people are just trying to burn through the services and, and get to the next one. Um, 
what I've found is it's, it's, it's all about how you treat the customers these days. And then when Absolutely. you have a mass quantity, like a huge corporation, you don't have the time to be able to, to you know, put the time and effort towards customer service. It's just get it done. Um, I wanted to be able to, to start, start a business in the city that I you know, live in um, to where I can provide that customer service base. You know, anybody can throw on a backpack and spray around a house. Anybody can set a, a, a trap for a rat. Um, but chase, not everybody, chase yeah, chase like but not everyone's got to get it done right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, it, not everybody can communicate and create relationships, you know, com, uh, you know, relationships and communication, I believe are the number, you know, the first two things in any kind of business or relationship that you have. Um, because long-term profitable relationships with coworkers and customers is what's built success in a, in a company. So one thing I've noticed about you specifically is, you know, it's, it's very, let me preface it with, it's very easy for somebody who's starting out uh, on their own business to be very uh, insulated and just very uh, narrow-minded when it comes to just making money and paying the bills and being stuck in that small business. You don't do that. Like, you are very engaged in no. everything that the community has to offer. You're selfless uh, in, in so many ways, and you're just so giving. And uh, I, I know that, you know, we and everybody in the in the chamber, we, we're very like-minded, but that, that is a hard balance to have. But you know, what is your mindset when you're doing all these things for the city? When you're when you're coming to 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 meetings, to events, to, to charity things, to you know uh, our softball league, you know, with the city, mm -hmm. like you do all those things. Like, how do you huh. you know why why? Um, I mean, it's. Again, I mentioned it's the city that I live in. It, there's no, there's nothing better than to be able to live and work and operate your business in the in the city, it's particularly the city of Lakewood. We're like in a you know, we're in the center of a you know we're like an oasis. We're like an island around all these other cities. Um, but it's great because now I can live and provide a service, but yet I also can support the city by you know you know charity functions and, and giving back. Mm. Thanksgiving, um, you know, my wife and you know daughter, we we went and. Uh, with uh, Ari right. and did the food drive for the for the folks at the church or the homeless it's it if I was working a nine-to-five I wouldn't you know I I wouldn't be you know going towards that direction but it's you know it's it, it's a, it's different when you when you have your own business you you want to do those things because you're part of the your business is there and you're there and you live there you're part of the community people know you people, you know and, and, it, and it, it makes you feel it makes you feel good not just for you to be able to do it, but my family to be able to participate as well. Right. No, that, that's that's excellent, and you know, this may may seem like a redundant question because you've always you've talked about business, you talked about community, but why did you, why did you decide to join the chamber in the first place? Um, it, I heard it, you know, from doing research because I didn't know anything about owning my. I knew about business, but owning your own business and ways to network. Then one of the number one ways what I heard was through the chamber of commerce. So I did some research. And um, I remember walking into the chamber, and uh, uh, Robin and Jody were there. And I just walked in, and I'm like, oh, hi. And I said, yeah, my name's Sean. I'm starting a pest control business here in Lakewood, and I want to join the chamber. Oh, great. And they had the sheet right there. I paid right there um, because I knew it was the right thing to do. And it's, it's it, I, I will pay the, the chamber fee every year for the rest of my life as long as I'm in business here in Lakewood because it's, it's benefited. It's it's really contributed to the success of, of Done Right Pest Control. That's awesome. Um, it's it's got my name out there. It's you know I've met you know guys like you and, and created new friendships. Um, you know people. I I heard one time that I, I think it was at the LA's finest uh, speaker series that your friends you know people are honest with you. Your real friends are honest with you and they tell you what needs to be done. They love you but they're gonna say hey man this needs to be done. For example, like with my, you know, the, the logo, hey man, let's let's tweak it, you know, because I think this is, a, you know, well, okay, you're a, you're a businessman, you have a successful business, I'm gonna, you know, let's try it, and he did it, and I get comments on this logo all the time, so it's, the, awesome. the chamber has really helped my business grow and, and at a steady pace, and it's, you know, working out great. Well, there's no worries when it's done right. All right, hey, let's do the, the presentation okay. of the speaker series. Oh, yeah, series. so we have a, uh, a small uh, gift, a small token okay. of our appreciation, a small gesture of, okay, uh -huh. stop there. All right, <laughs> uh, it's a, a shirt uh, for you and uh, 
with your logo on it. There. Oh, yeah. Wow. And uh, we have the chamber. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's official. The sleeve. It's very official. Official. It's very official. official. Right and uh, there's still sleeves on it. Uh, that's, you know, to each their own. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Well, once I get to your level, I'll cut them off. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> well, you just got to start chasing squirrels like me. That's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, we're reaching uh, we're reaching our 15 minute limit. Just wanted to invite you guys come out and check out the Lakewood Chamber of Commerce. You're gonna meet a lot of great business owners like Sean, who you know, who who you can interact with. Come to the office here on South Street in Lakewood, and and we can provide all the resources for you to succeed as a business. You tend to do that. But one thing I'd like to mention is uh, if you have any questions in regards to pest control and you know as, as far as IDing a pest or you know am I getting you know is my current provider providing the proper service that they should be give me a call ask me questions you don't have to be my customer I you know it's pest control with education you know, I think education is important for people to understand why we're here what we do and what to look for so um, give me a call anytime 562-607-6488 um, again, you don't have to be a customer. Spring's coming up, summer's coming up, busy time. Start calling. Yeah, and if you stick around long enough, you'll hear Sean Day sing probably. Huh.